Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I am very excited because I am finally getting the chance to sit down with this beauty right here. This is the Don't Be Jelly from Unearthly Cosmetics. I was kindly sent this in PR and look at this gorgeous color story. I see green, I see purple, I see blue. I see a lot of my favorite colors. I cannot wait to dive into this one. It is available right now on the Unearthly Cosmetics website and it does retail for $60. I do not have a code with them, but I am sure many of my fellow content creators have codes. If I can find one, I will most definitely have it listed in the description box. Let's get started on today's video. If you guys wanna see Don't Be Jelly in action, keep on watching. So I've already primed my eyelids with the new eyeshadow primer from Bella Beauté Bar. I'm still trying this out, seeing what I think about it. This is their Shimmer Stay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So I put it on already. There is a little bit of a tacky base, but this is definitely one of those primers that you can use before and then during your eyeshadow application to adhere shimmers uh, better to the lid. Okay, so I've I've seen a few looks, uh, some reels, and I've seen some of my fellow content creators create looks with this palette already. I don't like to watch anything um, that I know I'm going to be reviewing for myself, so I don't know how this performs, but I know a lot of you have your palettes already, so leave me a comment down below and let me know what you've been thinking of your palette. I have to start with green. Like that green over here is just called calling my name. So Seafoam is the first shade I'm going in with. And I'm going to take Seafoam on an It's Bell Cosmetics E5 brush. And we'll start applying that right in here to the inner portion. I am bringing it out as well. This will just make a nice transition for, I think I'm going to go in with that blue shade next, or maybe, actually no, I think I see another shade I might want to try, and maybe leave the blue for the lower lash line. So I was thinking I was going to go in with this shade, but now I think I want to go in with this shade right here, Sea Urchin. You know, I went to the Dominican Republic. When did I go? I went in 2021, the summer of 2021, and I ate something that had sea urchin in it, or sea urchin itself, I got really sick. Uh, I'm going to go in with the It's Bell e, E6 brush, but I'm confident this eyeshadow is not going to make me sick, but I remember it was, it was on the last part of our trip, and so, um, there was one day that I was just so sick. I was in bed and that's terrible. Like when that happens to you on vacation because it's like you pay so much to go on vacation and then you get sick and you're just stuck in the hotel room or the condo or whatnot. But um, yeah, I'm really sick from eating sea urchins. So not planning on getting sick from this palette, but I'm careful when I eat seafood. I love seafood. I love seafood so, so much. I love fish and shrimp mainly. I can eat lobster. I can eat crab. Um, that will all upset my stomach and I'll be down for a whole day, but um, shrimp and fish definitely on my menu and I eat them as often as I can whenever I can. Okay, so good call. I think good call with those two shades together. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more of sea foam right in here. And then I'm going to go in with a beautiful shimmer shadow that is in this palette. You are getting duochromes and multichromes. And then I think there's one like maybe more traditional shimmer in this palette. And then of course the mattes, there's one, two, three, four, five matte shades. So um, let's see. I wanna do, I wanna do something different. I think I'm gonna try this shade right here, Luminescence. I'm taking Luminescence on an It's Bell E9. Ooh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. 
and kind of just focus it right there in the center. And you know what? I forgot to lay down like that primer and I'm not getting any fallout. Not bad. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the matte blue down here called Lagoon. And I'm using an It's Spell E4. Stop right there. And then we'll do another shimmer shadow for that inner corner. Now on an It's Bell E1, I think I'm going to go in with this shade next. This one is called um, Hydro Space. And I did spray the brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Perfect. Ooh, I like this. I love all the shifts in the multi and duochromes. The mattes are really solid so far. Love it. Okay, guys, I'm going to pop off camera, do some finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. So here is the completed look number one. I love the way it turned out. I used this eyeliner from Unearthly Cosmetics. This one is the Immortality Liner, and that's what it looks like. It's like a multi-duochrome liner. That's what I have going on on the top lash line, and for the lower water line, I have this one from ColourPop. It's their cream gel liner. This one is in the shade Crystal Crush. I, I remember it. It's already rubbed off, but it's the shade Crystal Crush. The mascara I'll be using in today's video is Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. Love this one. Love the way this look turned out. So pretty. So, so pretty. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. So for look number two, I think I want to focus on this purple and red. I do a little combination like that and maybe do one of those blue shimmers on the lid. Um, I think, how do I want to do this? Um, I think I'm going to do the purple in the crease and then focus the red on the outer corner. I might even go back in with Sea Urchin if I feel like I need to deepen the look a little bit. But um, the purple shade is called Sea Star. And I'm taking this shade on an It's Bell Cosmetics E6 brush. Okay, so I don't know if this purple... Hmm. I feel like it's looking a little bit patchy right up here. Let's see. Maybe once I add the red, it'll look a little bit better. Now on a refer 14, I'm picking up that shade Coral. I'm gonna focus that right up here. I'm also gonna work it into the lower portion of the crease. I like those colors together. I'm just not liking this top part. Adding the red, bringing the red up here is helping. All right, not bad, not bad, made it work. Okay, so next I think, actually I think I'll do a combination, ooh, maybe the green instead. You know what, let's go in with this green shimmer here. Picking that shade on a damp Morphe M124, and we'll see if we can do two. I'm gonna focus this right here. I do feel a little bit of fallout, but I think that's my fault. I think I just picked up too much of the shade. So focus that right here on the inner half. Okay, good. Now let's go in with, let's do the purple. Let's do the purple jellyfish. Do that out here. Oh, I know those of you that have your palettes already are probably having lots of fun with it and creating some gorgeous looks. I'm loving the way this is turning out. For the lower lash line, I've used all the mattes already, and there's one, two, three shimmers that I have not used. I think I'll end up using Jelly, is that what it's called? No, Salty, I'm sorry, Salty for like the inner corner. But let me try using this shimmer. This one might be the only one I don't get to use, but let me try going in with this one. This one is called Sea Space. I'm taking Sea Space on a damp refer 03. That is really pretty. 
Okay, let me clean that brush off and then we're gonna go in with Salty. I am gonna spray the brush again and we'll do Salty on the inner corner. Right there, oh yeah, that looks really pretty. I'm getting a little bit more fallout with this look than I did the first one, but again, that could just be that maybe I'm just picking up too much product. Ooh, I love it. Okay, guys, let me do those finishing touches off camera, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. All right, here is the completed look number two. Uh, guys, I misspoke earlier. The name of the eyeliners are called Immortality Eyeliners, but um, the shades, I have them right here. So this one, let's see, this one right here at the top, this one is Imperial. This is the one I have over here. And then this one down here at the bottom is the one I just used. This one's called Treasure, and they're both from Unearthly Cosmetics. Imperial is just the, immor Immortality is just the name of the, the eyeliner in general. But um, for the lower waterline, I used an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This one is in the shade Sabbath. It's like a dark matte um, navy blue and I think it tied in perfectly same Pat McGrath mascara I love the way this look these both of these looks turned out let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts on the don't be jelly palette from unearthly cosmetics so I think once again unearthly cosmetics did a beautiful job with this palette I love the color story and I think the multi chromes duo chromes in here are spectacular they're really beautiful I did get a little bit of fallout but nothing major it was very easily wiped away so definitely if you don't have a glitter primer ha handy don't worry about it just spray your brush and that'll help it adhere good um, to the lid the only matte shade that gave me a little bit of trouble was the purple but once I started using the red to kind of blend it out I mean you can see it blended really well um, everything this is the only shade I didn't get to use um, but I'm sure it it is a beautiful shade and I will most definitely try to and that's the shade swatched in the back of my hand but um, I'm most definitely gonna try and create another look like for Instagram reels or a YouTube short where I use this palette because I'm I'm itching to do some more looks with it I think it is just a beautiful color story a well thought out palette from unearthly cosmetics I do want to point out that the way they shift this palette is really unique so it does have like a sleeve that goes over it that looks identical um, to the cover but then it also comes in this really cute box like it is very well packaged I mean nothing is going to happen to this one you can even recycle the box uh, repurpose it for something else so I did really want to point that out this palette is in stock right now and it is available for purchase and it does retail for 60 bucks I will have because I'm wearing a couple other things from unearthly cosmetics like lipstick and blush and highlighter so I will have everything that I'm wearing linked and listed in the description box some of those things might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping through them thank you so much for supporting me and my channel let me know your thoughts guys did you pick this one up are you planning on picking it up which look was your favorite team one team two team none team all sound off in the comments down below I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water cheers and I will see you all very soon bye